Hey guys, welcome back. So what I want to do is just kind of follow up on what I've been up to. Just came back from Philly. Philadelphia was actually one of the best trips I've ever done in my life. Highly recommend it. There's so much to do there. So many people out there. Great place. Uh, the weather can be kind of cold, but nonetheless, awesome place. Um, so the most embarrassing thing that happened to me was when I was on my way back from Philly to Atlanta. I had an experience of what they call nocturnal emission, right? And I find these hilarious. Most people will actually be very, I don't know, self-conscious about it, very ashamed or embarrassed that they actually had a wet dream. I know why it happens because usually when I'm lucid dreaming or what they call the hypnagogic state or something like that, uh, is that you are awake and you're not awake. And what they say is that this life is basically like a dream. You know, we're in the matrix or something like that. And we have to wake up. So this is a realization um, of kind of that death is just a phase. You know, we live to fulfill our lives in any way possible. And we do that day by day. So that's why I do a challenge. Um, and obviously I wanted to restart the challenge today on February 22nd. Just because I didn't want to cheat anybody out of doing what this challenge is and that's basically you know holding yourself accountable for what you have and that could be high goals high expectations um, you understand that you have value and you want to be known you want to be recognized for that and what happens is that this is this is like an illusion right so the illusion is that you know you can apply these challenges to anything in your life. You have to have this focus, this dedication, um, and this courage to have the ability to fulfill everything that you want to do in life. So why I do the NoFab Challenge is because it's almost like the most masculine thing you can ever do, right? Uh, these moments that you are by yourself, it's almost like an introspection, right? And you decide whether you can do something productive or you masturbate. Right, and this is going to the illusion of mental masturbation. Are you just gonna dream up everything that you want and not go for it, not actually take action? They say, you know, the secrets, you can manifest things, but people don't actually act upon what their dreams are. So what I wanted to do is just kind of like start all over, right? Um, this whole month of February is actually meaningful to me. I was born on the 18th, uh, 218, um, I never met a lot of people that actually had their birthday until I actually went to Philly. And uh, you know, the second letter of the alphabet is B and then uh, the 18th is R so I always kind of like associate it with like this is my birthday. Um, 222 is just something that um, I kind of realized in, in high school where like numbers mean things to me. And what I wanted to do is kind of just uh, make this meaningful to me as I go through this process one more time. So again, we're gonna start with the whole year. Um, I was doing pretty good, but this time is like no masturbation whatsoever. Uh, the pornography, um, I don't have trouble with it. And obviously if I ever go to like a sex club or something like that, they will be playing pornography. So it's kind of like, you can't say that you're not gonna watch pornography because it's kind of like, uh, if you go to a strip club, same idea. So for the most part, no masturbation. Uh, of course, the challenging part of the last challenge was that I was masturbating. Um, and of course, you know, it's whatever for the most part. Um, Self-control. Right, you you have to be able to stay on your path as long as you can, and know that uh, the you'll you'll reap the fruits. You know you'll you'll find uh, the results over in time, even though you may not see them immediately. So um, hopefully this helped, uh, especially if you're going through the challenge. Of course, if you have like pornography addiction or anything like that, um, it gets crazy, you know, and what I want to do is kind of just tell you little tips about how pornography affects your life, how it affects your psychology, um, your brain on porn, uh, it's a great book, and uh, how it makes you lethargic, you know, how, how it makes you lazy in life and how difficult that can be when uh, facing challenges, you know. Um, so what I'll do is kind of like give tips, insights, uh, maybe even exercises like yoga or something like that that they've actually helped out um, especially when I've done my 30 days or 60 days of you know no coming or whatever you want to call it um, <clears throat> it's great 
So I will research a little bit more into that and hopefully we'll stay tuned and then see where you guys are at. All right guys, so I'm out and about what I just talked about. Peace.